Hi guys, I'm kind of a hot mess because there's just like mm, a lot going on. I just wanted to, first of all, my name is Tay from Garrett and Tay, and today I wanted to do a short video. I actually don't know how short it's gonna be. <laughs> have been asking about wedding planning and my tips for wedding planning and all this stuff because Garrett and I just got engaged like a month ago I don't really know we've been planning our wedding that is happening this year we're not giving you too much information I'll be able to tell you a little bit but I'm not even gonna be able to show you everything that I have because I have a whole binder where I keep everything organized but yeah it's been a pretty stress-free process so far and pretty breezy our story is a little bit different than some other people's story might be so like it's not like this is like a perfect blueprint for planning your wedding first of all I'm not a wedding planner I'm just planning my own and I'm just gonna share what's worked for me because it's been super easy but I'm also a pretty organized person like it just comes naturally so I don't really even think about it but for people that aren't organized I'm gonna give you some tips on how to stay organized and how to keep it flowing and how to make it easier I'm gonna give you my resources that I use without telling you too much about our wedding because I'm not even, I don't think we're gonna tell you guys the date, but it is this year. I'm not telling you where it is. I'm not telling you when it is. Just for the sake of our privacy, we're gonna have videographers at our weddings and they're like really good. So you guys will see like definitely videos from the wedding day and clips and stuff like that. So you'll get a good grasp about what it's gonna look like. But I don't even really wanna show you our design cause I kinda wanna like keep all of that. I don't know, just like a secret until the day of. You don't have to follow what I'm doing. You could take little tips and tricks that I give you or you could not take any of it or you could click out of this video like I really don't care but if you want help planning your wedding then this is like the perfect video to help you because it's been super helpful for me and I'm like overwhelmed with other stuff but it's nothing about the wedding like it's not even really that I'm planning a wedding it's that I have other things going on in life that really has made this like stress-free for me my tips are number one as follows buy a binder that's like for sure, number one. You need a binder to keep things organized. You just do. Like, there's not even another option because you have to print a lot of things out. There's contracts and things you need to sign from uh, your vendors and stuff that you're gonna be using. You have to keep track of a budget. You have to have a guest list. There's like just tons of paperwork that you're gonna have to keep track of and the easiest place to put it is in a binder where you have everything in one binder. First thing in here, if I needed other essentials, I would put them in here, but I bought this little thing to keep a pen in there. So like, if I have to take this with me to go, meet with someone or whatever like I always have a pen that's not like super necessary but I like it second thing is I used wedding wire I know a lot of people use the knot and none of this video is sponsored at all I'm just telling you the resources that I've used and what has worked for me we have less than a year to plan our wedding but more than just like two months to plan our wedding if that gives you an idea so we are like kind of rushed and there's some vendors that weren't available so that's the downside to doing it so close to your wedding like getting engaged it's technically a shorter engagement a lot of people apparently standard is like a year which i feel like is a really long time um but it just depends on you and your fiance what works for your life like whatever you need to do just know that if you have it further away your vendors are probably gonna be more available and if it's closer you're gonna have people that tell you no because they're booked already and uh you're kind of dependent like your location where you have your venue for the reception ceremony if they're in the same place different places is like totally dependent on when they're available we didn't pick a wedding date until our venue told us when they were available so that's kind of how we did it we first looked at the venue that's always like the hardest thing to book you have to think about if you're going to do it separate if you want to have everyone go to the ceremony reception or if you want to just go to the ceremony have a bigger ceremony smaller reception um there's just lots of options and you guys can totally do research outside of this but i'm getting sidetracked Okay, so the first thing I did was I used Wedding Wire and I signed up on Wedding Wire. You can put in your date, it's going to tell you how many days you have left, and there's tons of resources on Wedding Wire. And I've looked at the knot, but for some reason, Wedding Wire just like makes more sense to me. But you can try either one. I'm sure the knot has the same kind of resources, but they had like this checklist, and this wasn't how it looked on their website. They had it like, I don't, it was kind of obnoxiously put, like it was like these boxes, and I didn't like how it looked. Like I like things super simple like super simple so I actually like looked at everything on the list that I knew I would have at our wedding and typed it separately in a word document um, and it's basically just the checklist of everything I need to get done before our wedding um, most of the stuff I've checked off actually all the stuff I've checked off already um, is like the major vendors that we need to have so if you're gonna have a band a DJ um, you're efficient you have to book your venue your reception venue if you're not having the same one at the ceremony 
uh, everything like that. But this just gives you a good overview of what you've gotten done, what you still need to get done. They also have a timeline, which I have a timeline tab that I, I made these tabs before I actually got engaged because I was going to be helping someone else with their wedding. That's what this binder was actually for. Um, and then I ended up not helping them, but I already had this made. So I just am using it for my wedding. There's some things I would change. So I'm not telling you this is like the way to do it. Basically like start accumulating your paperwork and stuff and um, you can organize it however you see fit to organize it. So if you have a lot of decor that you want to print out and put down so you can have like a good vision of, of what you want, then that could be a tab you make. And that's a tab I made that I am glad I made because it just helps me to reference like the color scheme I'm going for and uh, the design I'm going for, which I'm not going to show you guys because you're just gonna have to wait and see once we get married. I have a timeline tab that I honestly just haven't used because I mean, it, it really breaks it down for people that aren't good at time management. So it'll tell you, depending on how far out your wedding date is, it'll tell you like, okay, by this date you need to have your DJ booked or by this date you need to have taken your engagement photos um, and it'll keep you on track. But I feel like I'm pretty good already at managing my time and making sure everything gets done. Uh, so I'm not concerned about that. So I haven't used that, but if you need that and you're not good at time management, then you can go ahead and print that out and use that. The next tab that I have is the vendors and venue. So that's, you know, like your caterer, uh, your DJ, your uh, bartender. Uh, it just kind of depends on the things you're going to have. Uh, you can even do like a dessert table and there's like separate bakeries that come and set up a dessert table. You can do a photo booth. I don't know food truck, whatever, like anything that you're going to have at the venue, you need to uh, keep all the documents from, which I would honestly organize this differently. Like I would make a tab that has all the contracts in it, but right now I have all the contracts and everything in the venue folder because uh, I have the contracts from the venue, the contracts from DJ, caterer, all that stuff. And once I send it off to them, I make a copy of it and I keep it myself. And anytime we spend money on something, we print the receipt and keep it, which we are very blessed that um, our parents are helping us with this. So we are gonna have a pretty nice wedding. It's not like hundreds of thousands of dollars. It's not gonna be that nice, but it'll be a really nice wedding and it's, it's really nice that we're not gonna have to worry about it. So I totally get that a budget is a thing and we are budgeting the money that we're gifted, but uh, some people have a smaller budget and that's totally fine. Like you can still implement these things to keep yourself organized. I'm more talking about organizing yourself. I'm not telling you how to budget it. So everyone's budget is going to be different, but we definitely have a budget tab where I, we keep track of everything. So we had our starting amount and we started, you kind of have to make an outline before you start actually purchasing things. So I made a rough outline in the beginning and looked it up online. Actually, there's like calculations online. I don't know any examples, but you could probably just Google it where, um, I had help. It actually probably is on wedding wire or the knot but you type in your budget, so like your total amount, and it'll tell you based on that the percentage you should spend on each vendor based on what your budget is. And there's totally so many DIY projects. Another thing too, oh my gosh, you need to make a Pinterest board for everything. And um, I definitely use Pinterest a lot, and I don't know like what I'm gonna use from it, but it just gives you good inspiration, and they have a lot of DIY projects on there, so you could do a really cute wedding with a lot of DIY things for cheaper. So the last thing is attire, which I have like pictures of um, kind of the suits and stuff that the guys will wear, which I let Garrett pick because I don't really care. Um, that's more his thing. I talked a lot and I don't even really feel like I was that simple. It's hard because I can't really show you what I put in here because I'm trying not to give too much away. Um, but that's how I organized it. Basically, anytime you spend money, print the receipt put a copy in here. Um, you can keep copies on your computer as well, but I think it's always nice to just have everything with you. If you have to go to a meeting with your wedding coordinator or with uh, your caterer or whatever, um, you can take this with you and you can have all the information in there that you need to have. We even have our guest list printed in here, which is really hard to do. Your guest list, uh, you don't realize how many people you know until you're getting married. And it's been really hard to try to narrow that down. So we have like rough draft, rough draft, rough draft, rough draft, like version four right now that we're trying to narrow it down because number one they're expensive it's expensive to feed people and it's ex there's just not even enough room like in our venues hopefully some of this was helpful for you guys bottom line is like just try not to let anything stress you out and that has been like the advice i've always heard from people i just had two of my best friends get married and there's you know a little not like drama but there's like things that happen and it can get very stressful around weddings and sometimes 
it's just not necessary you know what i mean like the bottom line is that you're marrying the person that you love and that's all that matters your family and friends are going to come together there's going to be little things that happen or things people disagree on or i've already said some things i want and people have told me like why are you doing that that's ugly I'm like well it's not your wedding so you don't really get to tell other people what they're going to have at their wedding so like Whatever you and your person decide you like, you guys can totally do that. It's your wedding. It doesn't matter what other people think. You don't need to please them. But bottom line is like, just try to remember you're marrying the person you love, even if things go wrong in your wedding day. Hopefully I remember this if things do go wrong on my wedding day, that it doesn't really matter. Like you're still gonna be with the person you love at the end of the day. And that's really the whole point of this whole thing. It's not even about um, planning a wedding. So that's just like a byproduct of marrying your best friend so anyway hopefully that was helpful if you guys want me to go into detail about any more of that stuff um let me know i just kind of like wasn't planning on filming this video but i just got home and i was like well a lot of people have asked me to film that so i'll just explain what i've been doing and it's working for me and it's great and like really i'm not stressed sometimes i am but like rarely maybe when we get closer it'll be stressful but right now it's just been it's been fun like we have we have all of our major vendors locked in place um little update for you guys we kind of know like the design we want we haven't bought any decor or anything like that um, but there's wholesale websites oh my gosh that's another thing too so there's wholesale websites for like uh what was the one called jamali garden i think it's j-a-m-a-l-i garden or something it's like an event decor wholesale site or there's even the rentals you can rent from companies if you don't want to spend money on decor there's like cheaper ways to do everything so just look it up don't panic like that's why google is there or youtube you can look up diy stuff so anyway thanks for watching hope that was helpful and if you want me to go into detail about anything comment below and let me know like what you want me to explain further um like i said i'm not a planner i just I'm a planner. I'm not a wedding planner. Um, I'm just doing what's working for me. And it's been great up to this point. We have our engagement pictures next week and uh, that'll be pretty exciting. Once we do that, we can send out invites and yada yada. That's, that's all. Hope you guys have a good day and I'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye. <laughs>